Okay, hello, hi, this is Rani Ahmed with you. And this is an overview of uh, on a package in uh, uh, TCL program, uh, scripting programming language. Uh, it's called uh, TCL OO. Okay, what's TCL OO? Now, I have talked in, the, in another series called uh, ITCL. Okay, uh, and uh, both TCL OO and, TC and ITCL are the same topic. Okay, they both work on uh, making TCL an uh, object-oriented programming language. Now, uh, like f f when, uh, when you have a fresh uh, start with TCL, okay, uh, TCL does not have any uh, object-oriented uh, programming stuff, in short, OOP. So, um, to make uh, TCL uh, run OOP stuff, you either use package require uh, in the code uh, TCL OO or package require ITCL. Now in this lesson or in this uh, overview, I'm going to tell you uh, about TCL OO. If you want uh, about uh, ITCL, there's a whole series about it. Okay, look in my uh, channel. Now, um, now let's start to see how uh, TCL OO. And for those who know uh, ITCL, why should you use TCL OO? TCL OO is more uh, TCLish, which means that it uh, uses or it's written okay, or it makes TCL be written the way TCL is used to be written to, uh, by, you know, more like commands. It does not look like uh, more like Java and C++. Cool. Now, let's start. I, uh, you start always, as you said, with uh, a package require OO, TCL OO, and then uh, you start with uh, this command. Uh, OO class create polygon. So, uh, also I want to uh, emphasize that I'm not going to teach the uh, theory of uh, object-oriented programming. You should know it from C or Java or whatever, okay, a language that you have learned it before. Okay, here I'm just teaching TCL OO. So, we start with the, com uh, the command that creates us a class, okay, and helps and helps us design a class, which is uh, OO class create polygon. So I have I'm talking here about a template for all polygons, okay? And I called it polygon, okay? Then I have uh, its member variables called uh, width and height, like any polygon. You have two sides at least. You can start making an uh, area function or uh, start setting uh, its sides. Cool. Now uh, the uh, constructor. Here, like any uh, programming language so that does uh, or works with uh, OOP, okay, it has a constructor. So this is the keyword constructor, okay, and then you uh, you if you add the uh, parameters to this constructor if you want. Now, here I'm using uh, the uh, variable called args. Args is uh, a list variable which can, uh, which is a built-in uh, list variable in TCL, which helps you uh, like create as much as you want of parameters. So it will be like as if, as if here. Yeah. Okay, let's see in a command. Put it in a command. So let's see. Say, I have my uh, method here. If I want to have it, say like uh, p1, p2, p3. Okay, until pn, okay, as much as I want of parameters inside this method, okay, method name, okay, so this way the method name will take as much as it wants of uh, values, okay. So uh, here by design, this is from me, okay, I'm just checking the uh, constructors. Uh, uh, parameters, how many uh, elements uh, are there in the list, args, and then based on that, I can set the width and the height of that polygon, okay? So I'm saying uh, if it's two, just set that. If it's uh, less or more, don't do anything, just set it as zero, okay, for both, width and height, cool? And uh, after setting the uh, values here, okay, of width and height, uh, just quit the constructor, okay? Now, uh, if we look here at the bottom, after defining everything in the polygon class, okay, just postpone the rest uh, until I talk about it. So I say polygon create, polygon one, so I'm creating an object called polygon one and uh, I'm giving it the width 
first, then the height as second parameter. Okay, so this is it. Okay, now if I just don't put the three and five, okay, it will be just polygon uh, height and width will be both as zero, like so, like at this moment. Okay, going back here now. Now, um, now if I want to make methods belonging to this uh, or functions belonging to this uh, class polygon. I use the keyword named method and I just put puts all for example if I want to print everything this is from me okay it, I named it puts all it's not something belonging to the language okay and you know if you want to put some uh, parameters here just do like any uh, procedure in uh, uh, in TCL okay and I'm printing the uh, height and width now if you notice here in the constructor I have a command named my mine is like this so I'm saying like as if you do in Java usually, okay, like you say this dot or uh, puts all or in C++, okay, you do this pointer to puts all. Cool? It's same the uh, same way. So uh, Java's method is this way or C++ is this way, okay? So it's very much the same. Now, so uh, as it sets them, okay, the first parameter in args or the first element in args is at index zero and the second one is on the index number one, okay? And as it's a win system, just print what it has set. Okay, so you'll know that it took them. Okay. Um, so as I said, just like any procedure in C in TCL, you just define a method. Okay. And if I want to call, uh, for example, the puts width alone, okay, you just do this. So polygon one now is not really a TCL variable and like what we know they start with a dollar like the width and height now uh, the instead the uh, polygon one is now another command okay so polygon one puts width so this way I'm calling the method called puts width belonging to the class polygon okay but it has to deal now with the parameters or the uh, member variables okay of of member data of the object polygon one which are its width and its own height cool now there's a destructor like any uh, programming language that uses op oop okay so a destructor okay and it does not take any parameters just it's a, it has a body directly so you type destructor and the body that you want in tcl it will just run it when you type the command, the object command, okay, so polygon one, and then destroy, so it will call the destructor up there, okay, and it will run it. Cool, cool. so you see in the output here, destroyed, okay, object is destroyed, because I've put a statement there, puts object destroyed, cool, now, Another way of defining a, a, a class is by just typing OO class create rectangle. For example, I'm going to make a rectangle based on that polygon class. Okay, so the, this now I'm talk, uh, I will have inheritance because I have super class polygon. So I'm telling by defining a rectangle, okay, that I have a super class because of, I want to make an inheritance, okay, uh, and using the command here called superclass polygon. Now, uh, as I told you, the other way uh, I want to tell you, I mean, uh, the other way of creating the class is uh, class create rectangle and you stop like uh, right here, okay, at this cursor, and then you start with another uh, command called OO define, okay, rectangle, so now you're defining this uh, rectangle to uh, 
uh, have and add to it like every time you call define you can add and uh, manipulate the functions okay and uh, rewrite them the way you like so for example if some programmer gave you his own way of uh, writing the area okay you can write it in your own way okay because of the define uh, method okay or, or the define command okay so i have here also you notice that there is area 2 okay and there is area okay so i can for example when i call rectangle create r 5 and 4 so this means because of inheritance because i had put a super class polygon okay it will pull down and take a copy of everything inside the uh, polygon class okay and therefore the constructor will send the data to the constructor of the polygon okay and that's why I can send 4 and 5 for the rectangle okay so let's say starting here puts uh, polygon 1 data And here, polygon one puts rectangle R data. Okay, so when I run it, you know what's going on. Okay, let's make a, just like another new line. Okay, so it separates them. So you see in the output. This is for polygon one data. So when you started the uh, construction, you because of my prints, uh, my puts all, it will print first uh, as it's uh, associating the object with five and three, and then I said print uh, the width only by using polygon one puts uh, width, and then this command here is called self call okay, here. So it just tells you. And information about the self calling so who uh, or which uh, method was called this is one of the commands in tcloo self and uh, other argument in uh, front of the command self okay uh, you can find them also uh, online and uh, also i have uh, r puts all as you see, uh, as you saw okay so here is R puts all this part, okay. Here I'm using the R area, so it will call the first one here, okay. Now and I and because of the super class, okay, and because I'm copying everything, okay, from the uh, uh, from the polygon class, okay, the constructor will also uh, run. And which constructor? The one that's inside the polygon class. Cool? This one. So, um, that's all. Okay, basically. Uh, I've put a, a link inside the description uh, about a complete book about the, the CLOO made by uh, a guy uh, whose uh, uh, first initials are APN on uh, IRC, uh, free node, uh, chat server on TCL channel, okay? And if you want to, you can just uh, type his name on the chat and he, he will know. So uh, that's all about the uh, TCL OO, okay? And I hope you liked it. Please uh, click the likes, click the subscribe uh, to get uh, more updates from me. Uh, on your email and also click the ads so I can uh, be supported okay and uh, type your comments for any questions that you want anything that you want me to talk about in my channel okay and thanks for watching